Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I am finally sharing my Christmas house tour for 2017. I'm super happy with how it turned out and I'm really excited to share it and I hope you guys enjoy seeing how I decorated. I'm not going to talk throughout the whole thing and uh, just kind of let you enjoy looking at it, but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love house tours and home decor and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So starting in my house, off to the right when you walk in my front door is our dining room and to the left is our office. And if you walk straight, there is a closet that I have this wreath that I did a DIY and this tray which is where we keep our change and stuff decorated all festive. I love being able to decorate this little three tier tray that I found at Hobby Lobby. It's so perfect for adding different kinds of seasonal decor in and I love it. Here is my dining room and I wanted it to be like a winter wonderland in there and so I kept everything basically white and silver and gold with pops of red. This is the first year I had a tree in my dining room and I am obsessed with having it in the dining room. I love it. It just adds that extra um, Christmas feel. So this is looking out from the back of my dining room, or I guess the front of it. So much on the table are DIYs I actually did last year from Dollar Tree. to my collection of Christmas trees or just trees but pretty trees I wanted it just to be full of trees and deer reindeer so I had a few reindeer in there and I've decided that this is what I want to collect Christmas trees of all sorts of shapes and sizes and reindeer so the collection has begun <laughs> That garland was actually from Walmart for like $12 and then I added the twinkle lights to it and I love the extra little pop it gives. Then you're into my family room and I love the little Santa pointing sign right at our tree in our main area. This is where we put all of our more family oriented ornaments. And then this year I got this tree collar. It was actually from Walmart and it was red and I spray painted it silver. Then and you're going into my bedroom and I added those two wreaths above my bed. This is the first year I've actually like decorated in my bed and I gotta say bedroom and I gotta say I love it. I added the little mistletoe at the top. In my bathroom, the only thing I had in that part of the bathroom was that picture that I did a DIY with and then that wreath that I added Santa Snow to and that was another DIY I did with a Dollar Tree gift bag. Now we walk back through over into my office. Over here, I did a DIY with those. Those are just Dollar Tree gift bags in a Dollar Tree frame with some Dollar Tree tinsel garland or wreaths. And then there's some more of that garland that I got from Walmart. And again, I added the twinkle lights to it. And I just love the way it looks, especially at night. I love this area too. This area I did a kind of a different feel, more of like a farmhouse kind of feel with it. I love the farmhouse look, but I also love the glam look, so I like to mix 
it kind of together in different areas and I'm really happy with how this area turns out. I love that little truck from <laughs> Target so much. And down below I added floral balls from Dollar Tree to make it look like little snowballs with my picture that says snowballs five cents and I think it's adorable. Now we make our way into uh, the playroom, but I actually made it into a guest room for this time because we had guests come and stay with us for a couple days during Christmas. And not actually on Christmas, obviously, but it was Christmassy, so I made them little ornaments with their names on it, and I did a gift basket or just a little snack basket and a note wishing them a Merry Christmas and I put a Christmas tree in there and one of the guests is Jewish but he still like loves Christmas too so I added in pops of blue in there to account for him being Jewish and that being one of their colors. This train I am obsessed with. It's from Dollar Tree in the toy section and I spray painted it gold and added a little tree on top of the back and I just think it's so cute. These little stockings I did last minute. They, my daughter actually helped me with them, so they're more of her little handiwork, but they're cute enough. And then I just had extra toiletries and some um, towels and washcloths in case they needed to use any of that. And I just love how this room turned out for guests. And especially since it's normally a playroom, I made it as much into a guest feeling room as I could and they loved it which made me super happy. Again I added in a little bit of blue with the blanket as well. And I covered that um, little shelf thing with just a piece of fabric that I had because it has all of my daughter's arts and crafts stuff and all that and I figured oh, my guests might probably don't want to stare at that so I covered it with that little piece of fabric and it worked out perfect. Then we make our way into my daughter's bathroom slash guest bathroom. Now we are heading into my daughter's bedroom and she loves the way that her bedroom turned out. That table is normally in the playroom but I took it out of there when our guests were here so that's why that is kind of there and her little stuffed animals have Christmas jammies on and she has matching ones which is the cutest thing my mom got them for her. And her reindeer friends and she has the um, little village in her bedroom and it's super cute. She added the snow though so it's quite very uh, fluffy snowy. If you're a Dollar Tree lover, you will see that so much of my decor is from the Dollar Tree or things I've made from Dollar Tree things. <laughs> This is the Christmas tree that we got this year for her room. She picked it out and I think it, it looks cute in there. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger than it was, but I put it on top of a stool and in a basket to make it taller. So I actually think it worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. 
and we just added some Christmas knickknacks and little trees and stuff like that to that shelf area. She has her countdown to Christmas sign in there. Obviously this was filmed a couple days ago and I just hadn't got a chance to edit it yet, but that countdown to Christmas where you get a chocolate every time, that's her favorite each morning. There's her collection of Christmassy headbands and another look at her room. And I just love it, it's so pretty. I don't want to take any of it down. It's always so sad when you take everything down for Christmas. Now we are in my kitchen. This is the other side of that three-tier tray that I showed at the beginning. Lots of stuff from Dollar Tree in there. I love so many of the Dollar Tree's ornaments and they're so cute to add into something like this. Then we have our cookie jar, which has been messed with a little bit. My husband and daughter can't keep their hands out of the cookie jar. That is our elf Alicia and those are her two best friends from this year. She, Alicia, our elf, found those little cupcake girls and made friends with them all season long. Then if we have my coffee bar area. I did a video on that um, probably a month ago or so. And this is the view of the rest of my house from my kitchen. And then this is looking into my kitchen the other way. And then we go on to my patio and I have the poinsettia basket and those clay candle stands from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree little pillar lights. I love adding a little pop of Christmas in every part of the house. So that is it for this Christmas home tour for 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I decorated my house for Christmas. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have an amazing and very Merry Christmas and I will see you in my next video. Bye.